Betty. Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by, hanging out with me again. I um, so appreciate you guys being here. I've got another little haul. This is a product review package for you. Um, and it is coming from the great folks at Fan Sales. And if you're not familiar with Fan Sales, um, they are a great budget friendly company. And they have diamond paintings. They've got diamond paintings with AB drills. They do customs. Um, they have accessories. They um, have cross stitch and embroidery. And they do carry the Joy Sunday brand and the Spring brand and Mona Lisa. Again, they have accessories. Um, right now, currently, um, they have a sale that you have a free gift when you order um, $30. I think it's in 30 euros is what they have it in. But you can check out their website for the kind of specials they have. Um, so thank you, Fan Sales, for this. This is great. And um, I have... Um, a product review of both diamond paintings and cross stitch. So for both my um, diamond painting fans and my cross stitch fans. Um, so let's go. All right, so I've got several items here. I have got cross stitch. I have got diamond paintings and I have accessories. So let me just put this all off to the side. And everything gets mailed in these little thin poly mailers, but um, everything arrived in good condition. Okay, I do have everything out there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the diamond paintings first, and then I will do the cross stitch, okay? So my first one is an off canvas. And I've been looking at these for a while. Let me just pull all of this out. Oh, I got a little drill. I always have drills. Look at this, I got another drill. They're so messy. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer that you can see. This is um, a I don't know what they're calling this. I'm sorry, I'm gonna to have to look it up. Um, I think it's a pendant that hangs, or maybe they called it a wind chime. I'm not quite certain what they called it. Um, but it is, let me get all this out. First of all, it's a beautiful hummingbird. And you guys all know that I love hummingbirds. Just love them. Got hummingbird feeders in the yard for them. And it's on both sides that you diamond paint, which is great. And then it's gonna hang down. Oops, it's gonna hang down. Or maybe I better put it flat, you know, like this. And it's gonna have that on it that you attach. Um, and then it has the, the chain. And I'm gonna have to figure out exactly how, how all this goes. And it has the, the hook. And of course it has the, the boat that it comes in, which is great. The plate of wax, the pen, all the usual stuff. So this is really pretty. This is gonna go really fast. Let's see if I can get this done um, and show you a finish, you know, maybe tomorrow or the following day, it'll be quick. So I love it. And it's got really pretty crystals. I'm gonna show you the crystals on it. And that's kind of shiny. I'm gonna move that off to the side, guys, because I don't want that. I mean, you can see how sparkly this is. Look at that. Super, super sparkly. I guess it's gonna be better if I hold it this way. There you go. I would, Because what I was thinking of doing, I'm gonna hang it in my kitchen, actually, kind of above my sink. So that I can just have it in there just hanging pretty. Oh my goodness, I can't open this. Sorry guys, finally. So this has got a couple of really, really tiny little special drills. But let me show them all to you because they're beautiful colors. 
first of all, we have this really, really light blue and green. And these are the little teeny, teeny, tiny um, little teardrops or pear-shaped and pink. And we have it in gold. We have green crystals, gold, aqua, more gold, and more blue. Super pretty. So there is that one. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. Can't wait to do that. That's going to be really pretty. And then let me get you my next one. This one is a little snowman. I love snowmen. I just love them. This one I liked. Well, it's a 30 by 30, so it's going to go a little quicker. It has 21 colors, um, and these are in letters and uh, numbers. And the numbers are TETA approved. A one's a one's, a two's a two. Even though I don't paint with the the sequential number, I paint by symbol. Um, it just it just bugs me not having them in order. <laughs> um, but I love this one because it's in pink. And you know me with pink. So, oh, I'm sorry, I hit the... I hit the camera, sorry about that. So I wanna show you something on this too. I don't know if you can see this glue layer, but look at that glue layer. It's nice and thick. You don't see like little spotchy pieces. So to me, that is gonna show that it's gonna be really sticky and I bet it really is sticky. Yep, it is really sticky. This is one of those sparkly canvases too. I love the sparkle canvases. It's just, just pretty to look at. And again, par pardon me for my polka dotty hands. One of these days they're all gonna be healed and you won't have to look at them. But for anybody that's not watch hasn't watched me for a little while, um, that's from the dermatologist. Alrighty, and I'm okay, just to let you know. Now, these are the beautiful drills. And again, they're in colors of burgundies and pinks and blues and grays. Just super pretty. Really, really pretty. And I didn't think my dog would wanna go outside at night because it's really dark outside. She's, uh, She's, oops, sorry, I kicked the chair. Pardon me, guys. She's a little scared of the dark. She doesn't like the dark. I have to turn on all the outside lights so she can see. Um, she doesn't like going into a room that's dark. I have to turn the lights on for her. So anyway, here is my little snowman. And it does have guide circles. And let me just show that to you. I don't mind guide circles as long as they're not going to show when the drills are done. But that's really cute. Um, again, I don't know if we're going to see the snowman's mouth. Maybe. Because the fives are a darker color. But I don't think it really matters because um, we can change that up into a, um, a black drill. We can make the mouth. That won't be a problem. Um, you are not going to see, let me bring this in. Hold on just a second here. Oops, no, not out. Let's go in. And I'm just gonna point this out to you guys. You are not gonna see the outline of the carrot. Okay, this is all gonna be just in orange, I think. Um, if it was in cross stitch, you would, it would be a back stitch and you would see it. Just like in the scarves, the, these lines here, you are not gonna see that. Because I think this may be a cross stitch pattern too. And again, that would be a back stitch. So just letting you know, you aren't gonna see that. Just like um, any outlining through like here, you're not gonna see that dark here through here. 
but I think it's still going to turn out really good. And the drill field is clear. I think I was starting to show that to you. The drill field's nice and clear. And then again, the beautiful colors. Very, very pretty colors. Hang on just a second. I need to find my pen because I need to put the canvas number on this. Okay, so there goes that. I hope you guys are having a you know a great day or evening or morning wherever you're at. Um, it is a little later on in the evening. I think it's probably about, I don't know, 5.30. I mean, it's dark. Um, haven't even had dinner yet. Um, filming after work. Um, give me just a second. I'm going to fold this back up a little bit. But I think I've got the lighting figured out for night. So I think I've got it figured out. So here's my next one. And isn't this little guy so cute? Oh my gosh. This little dog is so adorable. And I liked it. I know this is kind of crazy. I'm, I'm normally a really traditional holiday colors of red and green. But I really love the blue of this puppy. I think they did a great job. This is a 30 by 40. It has 18 colors. And these are in letters. The canvas got a little bit beat up. So this is definitely gonna need to be ironed. It didn't look damaged um, in shipping at all. So I don't know if it was just how it was folded or what. This is another one of the sparkle canvases. Really cute. I think there's going to be definition in the dog's eye because you're going to have um, a white drill here um, to get that sparkle in his eye. Um, this I don't think has it, but you can always add one. Drill. This is lots of color blocking. This is will be fun to do because I have done so much confetti. Let me just show you. There's tons of color blocking. Look at all of those J's. And then in here, look at all um, of the ones. Where's that an I? It's an I, sorry. So lots and lots of color blocking. And um, here are the drills, which are, again, really pretty. Creams and browns, blues, tans, blacks, grays, teals. It's very, very pretty. So there is that one. So that is my diamond painting portion. And I'm going to go ahead and do the cross stitch. I've got two cross stitch kits and I have got... Um, an accessory and let me show you the accessory first of all um, this is some beeswax that you run your floss through and um, that is gonna help prevent tangling um, it just sometimes makes it easier to deal with the floss I to be honest I'm still learning because you know this is I'm a babe in the woods with this um, but I see um, the stitchers from other channels are using this, so I'm going to learn how to use it. So that is my beeswax. And I have two Joy Sunday kits. And let me show you the first one. Beautiful tulips. Look at those tulips. It is stunning. It's a 14 count, so you're going to use two threads when you, when you do this. It's a 29 by 37 canvas, or eight o'clock, pardon me, talking diamond painting. And 
just like always joy sunday has you know the the picture of it then it also has a chart this is going to be on two pages for the chart if you go by a chart from what i'm understanding from all the tutorials i'm watching is you really need to use the chart that is on the ada so let me show you that and then i will show you the floss so this is not really really big this is smaller and if I hold it up real close you can see that everything is clear and none of the ink is um, you know smudged or anything everything is clear now this is all washable so once you get done stitching you're going to wash all this color out. You do not need to stitch all this background, all this white. You can leave this white on the Ada cloth. So you're really only going to stitch the flowers and the base. Um, this one has, I'll tell you how many colors it has. Okay, this one has a total of uh, 26 colors. These are all in full stitch. Um, this is a 14 count Ada, no back stitching. So that's gonna make, make it nice for me as a beginner not to have to do any back stitching. Um, and again, just if you're new, it took me a little while to kind of get used to it. The colors on the Ada do not match the colors of what the pictures are. So you can kind of see that. See how the vase is in blues, but we have different colors here. Okay, so that takes a little bit of getting used to. It's different than in diamond painting. But again, it has 26 beautiful colors, all in full stitch. And then let me show you these colors. Oh my gosh, let me put it on the back of some white. Oops, let me just... Now I'm gonna bring these just a little bit closer so you can see the colors. They are just really, really, really pretty. Got the greens and the blues and the creams and the yellows. And then the peachy rusty color. And then again, these were the greens. So aren't those pretty? Really, really pretty colors. So that is that cross stitch. Got one more for you. Let me just put this off to the side. Now this next one I've seen opened on another creator's channel. Actually, um, it's Lovecraft Forever. She is amazing if you want to watch some cross stitching she also does diamond painting too um but this they call this a fruit disc tomato but what i'm seeing is a, a pepper and a tomato i think those are probably um olives and then it looks like probably olive oil so i thought this was going to be pretty for in my kitchen this again is a 14 count um, and Natalia did show this finished and it was beautiful. That was one reason why I, why I chose it. Again, this is a Joy Sunday and she has the pattern here. So that's part of the pattern. And then we go over here and this is the other part of the pattern. And this one does have back stitching. I'm going to show you. There are four colors in back stitching, and then there are 38 colors that are in the full stitches. And I'm going to bring this in just a little closer so you can see it. Again, that's the picture. And I'm going to show you the cloth. This one is 34 by 34, so it's a little bit bigger than the other one. Again, this is 14 count, so I will definitely be using my 
magnifier for it because my old eyeballs, I used to be able to stitch on 14 count with any without any issue. But you can see how nice and clear the printing is. Again, no smudging. You're gonna be able to tell exactly where those stitches go. And again, you are not going to be stitching anywhere out here in the background. The other thing about Joy Sunday that is nice is these edges are all surged so that it doesn't unravel on you. They need to be surged. So that's beautiful. And then the colors, let me show you these colors. Let me find something white so that you can see the beautiful colors. Look at the beautiful colors the orange and the yellow and the greens, beiges, and then this side has a few others. Let me just get these. Oops, let me squish those down. And you can see those colors. Bring it in a little bit closer so you can see it. So again, the colors are really pretty. The floss is really soft. It's, it's very soft, it's cotton. Oh, and all of them come with needles. I think I forgot to mention that. They all come with the needles. So there's that. So that is all that I have right now. Thank you, Fan Cells, for this. I'll give you the breakdown again. There is this one. Again, they're calling it a fruit disc tomato, but I don't think that's what it is. So there is that one. And let me get you these others here. Hang on just a second. Then I have the beautiful, beautiful tulips. Those are gorgeous. So I need to put those over there. I can't mix all this stuff up. And then I have the puppy. I love the puppy. Oh my gosh, this puppy is so adorable. Just love him. The puppy. I got my snowman, which is adorable. And then I got my beeswax for my thread. Or not thread, it's floss. So again, that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this whole time. I greatly appreciate it. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Drop me a comment. Send me an email. Love all, love all of that. It's wonderful. Um, so you guys have a great day or evening wherever you're at. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are, and you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. So take care. Happy diamond painting. Happy cross-stitching. Happy coloring. Whatever your craft is, enjoy it. Um, again, I just so appreciate all of you. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you. You guys all make my day. So take care. I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.